Good evening, and welcome to Barrington's White House. I'm Roland Potter, the Culture Director here. Thank you so much for joining us as we continue our third Thursday Art Night Out series from Barrington's White House. As always, we encourage you to look at our website to see about all of the events that are coming up, and also to acknowledge the many uh, contributions, donors, uh, sustainers, individuals who help us and make our events here at the White House possible and brought to you, of course, such as today, virtually. And to present to you a world famous painter, Michael Ireland, who lives not too far from here, but he is nationally known for many of his works. His works are on a large canvas, watercolors, and he is uh, someone who is going to claim, and he's very true in this claim, that his works are used by many of the largest corporate offices in the world. Uh, locally, they're at Northwestern University, Lurie Hospital, uh, Wells Fargo. So his works are really in a lot of prominent places, and I think he has a big following, uh, and you're going to be among that following tonight. Uh, Michael talks a little bit about the magic of his brushes in this interview. So welcome to the magic of Michael Ireland. Hi, welcome to the studio. Mary and I have put together a small gallery, a salon if you would, uh, to uh, show some of our work to you uh, in lieu of having a live event. Uh, we're going to take you on a virtual tour today. So we hope you enjoy it and uh, Look forward to meeting you soon. Thanks. When I first moved to the Fox River Valley, it was almost 45 years ago. I couldn't believe my eyes. It was like a painter's paradise. The prairies, the forests, the bodies of water, they just, they just blew me away. And it still does today. Everything that I see within just within the five to 10 miles that I live in. You know, there's a painting waiting to happen. I feel so fortunate. Michael's use of color is like no other. I, I think his use of color is absolutely phenomenal. And I've had the same comments from art consultants, interior designers, private collectors, everyone I've ever even talked to, they love his work. Right now, most of the work I'm doing has been commission-based. Some of these commissions have led to maybe my largest work and some of the pieces I'm probably most proud of. One of the very first large commissions Michael was awarded was for Lutheran General Hospital in Park Ridge, Illinois. From there, it went to Sacramento, California, Houston, Texas, New York, Boston, one of my favorite commissions is a piece that Michael did for Waukesha Memorial Hospital in Wisconsin. This was quite a large piece of art, 22 feet long by four feet high. Well, generally, uh, I would be calling a lot of the art consultants or designers and finding out what projects they might have coming up. And then if they do have a project, I listen very carefully as to what they're looking for. Some of the things I'm working on right now are becoming more sculptural. Uh, not too dissimilar to what's going on with, uh, you know, my old growth, new growth piece of, of panels building off of other panels. What I find exciting about that is that it's actually a, a physical representation in a way of layers of transparent color over transparent colors, but this we're putting it into a structural format. Well, I love his work, and of course I guess I am biased, but I truly do, I'm his biggest fan. I love the fact that it has a kinetic energy and movement to it, but at the same time, it has a calming and thoughtful feeling behind it. 
I think there's a certain amount of energy that transcends from a painting to a viewer. I miss talking to individuals and seeing their face and enjoy, you know, the work personally. Ooh, that's kind of cool. I mean, it cropped. That might fit into your uh, frame. It might. That's just might. A lot of talk about the art and what they're looking for and what they see in the art comes out in those conversations. Yeah. And I think that's probably what we miss. And having the gallery, you know, can start that back up again. We've got these big, heavy pieces, and then we've got all this paper. You know, with painting on commission, especially for the corporations, you're dealing with designers and, and, and clients that you may never get to meet or see. Uh, and uh, it's, it's as rewarding as it can be. Don't get me wrong. It's, it's a wonderful experience. But to work one-on-one -on -one with a person, a client, to bring a piece of art into their home, uh, that, that's, that's pretty special, I think. It's so nice to be able to show some of the work that everybody's so familiar with, but there's also a whole bunch of new work that we have. I'd like to think this is kind of a place for you to just come in and explore. It's a salon studio visit. Yeah, come on in and have a glass of wine with us, walk around, talk about painting. That's what it's all about. Like I said, I've been painting in this medium for actually 50 years now. From the first time I picked up a brush at the American Academy of Art to today, it's just a thrilling experience. I just love it. Uh, and I hope to be doing that for a long time to come. Mary and I would like to thank the Barrington White House for this opportunity and all of you for taking the time out to watch the video, to join us in the studio, to uh, be a part of our art and our life, and we hope that uh, you can join us soon. The future is ahead of us, and uh, we're looking forward to it.